It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Goose Island Brewing Company. It's called the Midway Session IPA. It's coming in at 4.1% ABV. Um, I picked up this box as part of the new range in Tesco, the Tesco Craft Beer range, that they brought out as of March 2021. And they didn't have any single cans of this. You've got to buy it in a four pack. That's no problem. That's no problem. I'll drink it at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub uh, with you guys, either on a Tuesday or either on a Friday night. We'll crack open a couple of these. But here we go then, Goose Island um, Session IPA. Um, Goose Island did a bit like the London bus. Uh, you don't see any for ages and then two or three come along at once. Um, I've not drunk a Goose Island beer in all honesty, probably in a good few years. Good few years. Um, technically, I still haven't. Uh, they did that kind of go golden goobly thing just last week, which we couldn't get hold of. Ended up making my own. That's on YouTube as well if you want to watch it. Um, just put cabbage cream egg stout. I'm sure you'll find it. I'm sure you've watched it anyway. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that whole thing was to lead you to their website and to lead you to buy this new beer from Goose Island. I think that was the whole marketing ploy behind it. Um... Yeah, I picked this up in Tesco. Without further ado, let's open the can, get it into a glass, see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass. I'm not prepared. <clears throat> Normally I have a glass to hand. There we go. It wasn't too far away, was it, the glass? Uh, two finger white head, good levels of carbonation. It's a, I was gonna say straw colored beer, but it's not. It's a, it's a very light amber colored beer, almost a luminous yellow to look at. Uh, good levels of of carbonation rolling up the glass. Um, let's get the aroma, aroma. Goose Island, owned by AB InBev, um, but I don't see that as any reason why this shouldn't be a pretty decent beer. Smells okay, kind of hoppy. Not as pungent as I would have liked, not as like, I would, it's Goose Island of all. I used to drink the old Goose Island when they were an independent company, when they, when they wasn't owned by AB InBev. I remember the whole fuss about nine years ago now when they were bought out by AB InBev and their beers were terrific, they really were. The Goose Island IPA was an absolute stormer of a beer. I still drink that every now and again but this it's not really throwing the aromas out of the glass as I would expect of a of an old style Goose Island beer. It's there, it's kind of A little bit of orange, a little bit of grapefruit. It's like lemony aroma. A little bit of light wafer like biscuit malts. Now let's dive in. Cheers everybody. It's okay. It's okay. It's not too bad. You can tell it's big beer. It's a shame. It's, it really is a shame. You can tell it's big beer. There's something about big beer that um, they really struggle to get away from. You can tell this has not been brewed by a, a small microbrewery anymore. It's, it almost has a slightly synthetic mouthfeel. A little bit slick, a little bit oily. A slicky, oily kind of mouthfeel. It's definitely not as refreshing as I would have hoped. Um, 
it is hoppy. It's a bit of an astringent bitterness there. I think they've used maybe some concentrates, maybe some hop concentrates in this. Um, I think when you go down the road of using hop concentrates, you're not... The, the beers, as I said earlier, I can really able to whirl it round now in the glass and... It's really not doing what I expect from a from a session IPA. I've had some blinding session IPAs over the years, some really, really good ones. Really pungent aromas. Really hoppy kind of passion fruit and mango and grapefruit flavours coming through. Uh, it's a shame. It's a shame. I, I don't think it was much. In fact, I've left my receipt upstairs. I'm, I've been trying to think for the last couple of minutes how much I paid for this box of beer, this midway. I don't think it was too much. It definitely was uh, between probably four and five pounds. Um, about a pound a can. £1.50 a can maybe, £1.25, I don't know, that kind of price range. Um, but you can tell, you can tell. You know this beer's been brewed by a brewer who is vastly experienced in what he does. He knows he can get just enough out of the beer to be able to write that session IPA on the can. And when that kind of just enough is enough for some, then they just tick a box and they go, job done. We've sold X amount of these midway session IPAs. It's now become a, a, a core beer in our range. Goal achieved. Everybody's happy, we're making a profit, blah, blah, blah. You know, there's no, like, let's sit down, let's see if we can make the best session IPA that we possibly can for that price point. It's it's about just doing enough, just doing enough. And it's a real shame, it's a real shame. I understand the Bourbon County Stout is still absolutely terrific. Um... That goobly beer, I understand, wasn't very good. Um, Goose Island IPA, I've had it. You tend to see that in like Mitchell and Butler pubs these days. Um, I'll drink it in there because there's nothing else to drink. Um, the, the cask beer is generally Doomba. Um, and I'd rather drink a Goose Island IPA over Doomba. But, you know, it's that type of thing if you were to go into a craft beer bar... A proper craft beer band there was 20 lines on and a fridge full of cans and bottles you know you you, you give the goose island a miss type of thing because there's much better beer there um i hope i haven't been overly scathing of this of of this beer uh it's brewed in it's brewed in brussels by ab in bev there's no there's no description there's no description just where it was brewed just that it's a, well, it says on the front, hoppy, tropical and refreshing. It's not really overly hoppy. It's not really tropical and it's not really refreshing because it's got that kind of oil slick, slicky mouthfeel going on. Yeah, they could do much better. They could do much better. I'm going to rate it. Poor show, poor show from Goose Island. Um, six out of ten. Six out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm gonna no, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna change that. Five out of ten. Five out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.